Okay. So let's do a problem on page 755 of the book. I'm doing one that's already got the answers in the back of the book, so I'm not actually giving anything away, but it's a good problem to do. So we're going to do number 2G. Okay, so the question is, find a regular grammar to describe this language, where the language is lambda, A, B, C, A, B, C, 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 A, B, C, C, and then it keeps going on, and you get C to the N, A, comma, B, C to the N, Dot. Okay, so if we look at that, um, I like to turn these into regular expressions before I find regular grammars. It just makes it easier for me. <clears throat> That's really just the language C star A plus B C star, right? Now, since we've got a plus in here, and that plus really means or, the, the string can be in the C star A or the B star C or both then starting out our grammar is pretty easy because we can just start out by saying S goes to either A or S goes to B. Remember that's a shorthand for actually two rules, so that's really a shorthand for S goes to A and S goes to B, right? Okay. Um, and then we'll let this piece be A and this piece be B. So remember with regular grammars we need to build them up from left to right because we always have to have our um, are non-terminals on the far right. So, um, so let's see. We'll say that A, well, you can have a C followed by an A, or when you're done getting as many C's as you want, you can put in a lowercase a. And we're going to do something quite similar with B. Let's see, with capital B. So big B goes to, well, a little b, and then I guess we need to move on to something else. I'm not going to use the letter C to represent this piece simply because the letter little c and the letter big c are so complicated, uh, so similar. So I'm going to use a D to go to that. So B goes to B, D, and then big D is going to go to as many C's as we want. So a C followed by a D or a lambda. So there's my grammar for that whole language. Really, really pretty easy. Okay.